Welcome back. Today I'm resuming the work on the red line room. So if you remember, we hit a roadblock on task six and it was kind of uh, hard actually to find out what was going on and why it didn't work in the first place. So basically, today I managed to get that task to work and um, today I'm going to present the solution. So we will walk you through all of the steps I have taken in order to complete the room. So basically, um, don't forget that Redline is a program or software used to perform memory analysis uh, on an endpoint for the purpose of incident response and uh, malware, not malware analysis, let's say incident, incident response and memory analysis. So in the previous tasks, we walked through um, the standard collector, the endpoint investigation, and today we're going through the IOC search collector analysis. So the IOC search collector analysis is a way to apply a specific indicator of compromise on an analysis you have already conducted. So the key to this room is this. The first thing, go to, uh, go to uh, documents, analysis, sessions, analysis session one, and open the analysis session one here. This file will be ready for you once you deploy the machine. And it is uh, an analysis session of all of the, you know, all the components of the uh, virtual machine. So basically, uh, you may, this, th th this file actually has been created using the standard search collector to understand what happened on the machine, uh, what kind of incident and analyze the file system and the memory to understand more about the incident. Now, whatever. So you open this file, all right, wait for the file to load and you make sure that the file has loaded successfully by going to host here and make sure that all of the artifacts have appeared. So the processes, tasks, disks, all of them have appeared here. Now you proceed to IOC reports, create a new IOC report. So before creating a new IOC report, make sure to create or make sure to open the IOC editor here. Open it and create your own IOC file. So the way I did that, uh, I don't want to open this again because it's going to take some time, but let me let me do a draft file. So the way I did it, we opened the IOC editor. And of course, create a folder called IOC. In this IOC folder, you will host your indicators of compromise file. Now, once you create the file, we will apply the file on the existing analysis by going to IOC reports, create a new IOC report. And here you browse, select the folder. Okay, so select the folder that you created earlier and then select folder. It will show up here. Click on OK and it will start creating the report. Once it finishes, you will see a report here, IOC report. You're going to click on that and you will see the uh, file. So there is one hit on one file located under the updated local temp. This is the file that actually uh, triggered the hits or triggered the indicators of compromise we talked about earlier. So let's see here. Yeah, so basically you select a folder, click on OK. Let's go back. All right. So before answering the questions, I want to make sure that the sequence of steps are is not, you know, interrupted. So I'm going to wait for that to open. All right then. Still loading. 
Okay, so this is the file that I created. Click on that. You see here is the uh, logic tree. So first we have an or statement. Then we have the file strings. You can, as you can see in the question or in the scenario here, we have two file strings and we have one uh, file size artifact. So the file or the IOC file in order, to, in order to trigger a hit, the file should contain one of these strings and has the size of the size indi indica indicated here. So if you go back, you see we have file strings contains or file strings contains. And next we have and to make sure that the file size is a mandatory or the specified file size here is a mandatory property. So we need uh, the file that we're looking for to have this size in order to trigger the hit. So once you create the IOC file this way, okay, I'm gonna close that. Now you navigate again to Redline, IOC report, create a new IOC report, specify the folder, which is this one. And after you import the file, you will see we have one hit. So this is the file that uh, contains the IOCs we specified earlier. Okay, now it's time to answer the questions. The first one, provide the path of the file that matched all the artifacts along with the file name. So this is the actual path. No brainer, easy. Now you provide the path where the file is located without including, without including the file name. So it's just, just you copy that and paste it. Who is the owner of the file? If you go back, we see the details. The owner is, or the owner actually, is the administrators group bulletin administrator. Provide the subsystem of the file. Now these kind of details are located under the details. If you click here, you will see the panel of the details. So under this panel, we have the device path. And also we have the um, subsystem. These two will answer two questions, the device path and the subsystem. Provide the SHA256 for the file. Now, the provided hash here is MD5. We want the SHA, so we have partial. Let me try to make this bigger. Anyway, so here we have uh, get file hash, execute get file hash, provide the path of the file, including the file name, and it will give you the SHA256 hash. Now, after extracting the SHA256, we go to virus total. And we search, so you know how to search with the hash, right? I'm gonna do that again. So basically you search and you go to details. Here you will have all of the details of the original file name, right? So the question is asking here, the attacker managed to masquerade the real file name. Can you find it having the hash in your arsenal? So actually th this file is not the actual file name. The real file name is something else. But by providing the SHA hatch, we can reveal the actual file name using virus total. The actual file name is psexec. Right? So that concludes task six of this room. It has been long since I haven't touched on that and not followed up on this task. But today I was able to uh, give it a try and attempt. And actually, I heard many comments about people just uh, going after the. Uh, existing analysis file try to without creating a new standard collector so what we, what we did previously we just created a new standard collector using redline and apply the IOC on it which which will not work you need to apply the IOC on an existing analysis so I hope you enjoyed that and see you in the next video